Hey, welcome to DeepMake. I'm gonna show you guys the power of our AI plugins in After Effects. Check it out. First, I'm gonna show you guys how to use the DeepMake plugins in After Effects today. How do you fire it up? And so you've downloaded the software, you've downloaded the plugins, everything's installed, and what you're gonna do is, of course, you're gonna start a new project in After Effects. You're simply gonna come up, start a new composition, right? Make sure you have the right dimensions, etc. And then you're simply going to create a new layer. Make it a solid. Because DeepMake needs to function off of a layer that you created. And so now you have a new layer. And so it could be a layer that was already generated. It could be footage that you put in. I'm just showing you with nothing when you come into After Effects what you can do to start using it. So then you simply come up to your toolbar up here. You come to Effect. You come to DeepMake. And you come to AI Plugin Renderer. And you'll see that your plugin renderer has appeared here in your effect controls. And so you can come and you can see plugins and then you can select the plugin that you want to use, depending on which ones you have downloaded. GSIM is for masking objects with a prompt. And Diffusers is, of course, text to image generation and image to image generation. Bisonet is for masking faces. Basic SR is an upscaler that upscales times four. First off, I'm going to show you guys how to use GSAM plugin in DeepMake. That is the smart segmenter for objects. So it's pretty much masking objects using a prompt, using AI to get that. And so first you're going to obviously start a new composition. Make sure you have the right aspect ratio you're looking for with the height and width. And you're going to need some footage to use, right? So I found a supercar video on some stock footage website, and I'm going to try to mask out the supercar using the GSAM with a prompt. So let's see how it goes. Let's bring it in first, drop it in. And then you're going to want to make sure that's on your composition, drag that down there. And then, of course, come up to effect. Come down to Deep Mate, come to AI Plugin Renderer. And then look at this, you got a bunch of settings over here, and then this is the plugins. So depending on what you've downloaded and your level of subscription, they will show up here. And so come down to GSAM. And so you're gonna see everything pops out here. Now let's get a spot with the car on screen. Okay, prompt's not here, so you might have to log in if this is the case. and then click prompt. And then I'm gonna type in supercar. So this will take a little bit of time for the AI to process all the frames it's masking out, depending on your hardware. So I'm gonna cut ahead to the final product. Check it out. All right, that was pretty easy. Next up, I'm gonna show you how to use the diffusers. Start a new project, new composition. Change your height and width to whatever you want. I'm gonna make it 512 by 512. I'll show you why in a second. Come to layer new, solid, name it. And then come up to effect, deep make AI plugin renderer. Now come to your effects controls, you'll see this plugin pop up, select diffusers, and then select a plugin. So we'll generate an image first, and you'll see that there are height and width settings. They can do any height and width. I left it at 512. Iterations is sort of like the quality that you create, the rendering. So if you start at one, it'll render it quick, but it won't be a full render, 20 is. Now the seed is how you change the generation of your image without changing the prompt. So it's sort of like the randomness. It starts at zero and then you can change it to whatever you want. Once you're happy with your settings, you can come and you can click on your prompt. Think of AI as a child, it's very literal. So we're gonna start off with horse, something simple, but using descriptions and commas really helps. See the horse appeared. Now, if we wanted to get a different image generated without changing the prompt, we would change the seed. Now let's try three, see what it gives us. So it gave us a new image, but it gave us a horse with a person on it, which I don't want. So let's try a new seed. Let's try um, 12. So horse is a little funky looking, but I like it. Let's stick with this. Now let's use image to image generation to change this to something else. Come to effect deep make AI plugin render again. It'll create a new one on the same layer. Make sure your layer is selected. 
Now you're going to come to select a plugin, come to diffusers again. Instead of generate image, you're going to come to refine image here. Now you'll see the same exact settings and they are all the same seed iteration height and width except for this one strength which goes from zero to one which is essentially the percentage of your image that will stay the same so we're going to change it to 0.5 right because it's like 50 percent it'll stay the same so let's see what we get with a prompt let's change it to zebra and see what we get boom look at that so the image didn't change at all, really. The composition stayed the same and it just became a zebra. Pretty cool. So this works with your own images. If you upload them that are not generated, obviously you have to keep the height and width the same and then it can change that to whatever you want. Next, I'm gonna show you how to take a picture that was created with AI generation, use Bisonet to mask out the woman, and then I use this image as the background with diffusers and this image using GSAM to mask out the object, the scarab robot. And then I created this new updated version. Let me show you how I did it. So start a new project, start a new composition, come up to layer, new, solid, come up to effects, come down to deep make, AI plugin render. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the plugin diffusers to generate that image of the Egyptian woman. So come to select a plugin, you'll see it in your panel here, and then come to diffusers. Click on the prompt. For my prompt, I wrote an ancient Egyptian woman running scared, beautiful, medium shot, focus on face conservative clothing. So that's an example of a detailed prompt. It will take some time to generate an image, so I'm going to cut ahead, but check it out. Looks good. I'm gonna stick with this one. Now come to DeepMake AI Plugin Renderer again, and I'm gonna upscale this to fit the dimensions of my composition. So come to Basic SR, click on that, and it will upscale on its own times four. So come to Deep Make AI Plugin Render again, and I'm going to use Bisonet to mask out the face. And it's going to come with some features that you can click. So you could pretty much mask whatever you want. If you want to mask the whole body, hair, clothes, face, ears, all that, you're going to want to click them all. Look at that. And to create my new background, I repeated that process and got this image with a new prompt. And click your composition to see how it looks. Nice. Now I'm going to create a new solid and use DeepMake Diffusers to create the Scarab Robot. And click prompt one more time. A Scarab Robot menacing and terrifying, horrifying, blood splatters, golden and jeweled. Yeah, I don't really like this one, so in which case I'm just going to change the seed and keep the prompt, and this will give me a new version. Yeah, I like this better. Come to Effect Deep Make Plugin again. Now I'm going to use GSAM plugin to mask out the object. So GSAM is for objects, Bisonet is for masking out faces. GSAM actually uses a prompt, click the prompt, and then simply type in what you want to mask out. I did a Scarab Robot. There you go. Let's put those all together. There it is. So this image was entirely generated and manipulated with AI. Finally, I'm going to show you the model manager. This is how you can download any model from Civit AI and then use it in DeepMake plugin diffusers. So I downloaded this realistic vision, download it. And then once you've downloaded it, check it out in your folder, right click it and then copy as path. Now in After Effects, on a blank layer, come and hit your AI plugin renderer, come to diffusers in your plugin, now hit configure. I'm simply gonna change the model name and paste in the path that we just copied. Delete the quotes, hit submit, now type in a prompt, your model is ready to go. I typed in a cat wearing a hat, cause who doesn't love that, and check it out. Model fully loaded and ready to roll. Let us know if you guys have any questions. We hope you enjoy using DeepMake. Have fun.